Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Thursday here, 20th of August. This is the time, this is the time of the year where shit starts, so we have to be alert. Um, let's just see. We had a little bit of a turn yesterday. Everyone's got their tits all twisted in a tizzy now. Uh, I would argue that everyone needs to calm the fuck down. Uh, equities came off 40 handles means nothing let's pull up the equity chart decent turn up there turned where we kind of wanted it to turn up at 33 97 um, printed a low of 43 today this does not get interesting until we get below 33.22 and then honestly we're hoping for a pivot, a print at 32.86, and then a turn, uh, and you know, pivot, bounce, and then smash. We all know selling low ones in ES uh, doesn't really work too well, so just keep it in your pants here. Uh, if you are short, this is tradable. Um, we reduced our shorts overnight. We were given. Uh, given here at 3350 we're just gonna see what the day is gonna bring um, two red days is doesn't make a bear market or anything so everyone just needs to uh, chill out calm down about this and just be wary right so this is our preferred scenario fine this um, this is the beginning that we were kind of hoping for. But it doesn't get serious until we get below 33.20. So create yourself an average uh, if you want to sit. Uh, otherwise, tactically trade this. Um, probably better for your liver and uh, for your life anyway. Tactically trading stuff rather than owning stuff. Anyway, speaking of ownership, uh, let's look at dollars are. Talked about uh, nibbling on the long side yesterday. We got our little turn bar here. Um, confirmation that this is a turn bar is at 1734. Uh, you can see we've been up to 3140 in the bullshit zone in Asia. No one knows how to trade czar in Asia. They're just running stops and doing higgle higgledy piggledy. Uh, so you just kind of have to ignore a lot of the bars in Asia in emerging markets. Um, this will confirm longs uh, with a print above 34. So if you own them, uh, you own them at a good price now, just sit. This looks like it's going to turn, and, and I do believe that the bang for your buck, um, if you want to think in risk-off terms, is going to be short EM uh, rather than short ES. It's kind of the same trade, same sentiment. Watch your VAR, right? Value at risk. Um, but we like dollars are. Bonds. Interesting little day yesterday and a bounce. Um, no, we don't want ZN, we want ZB. So, kind of almost engulfed, but not really. So we're still suck, stuck in this sideways maneuvering here. Um, we did trim a little bit at 06. We will resell. Um, at uh, 179 the figure today we're looking for sideways action here and then the next leg down um, this is our long term or medium term position if you haven't entered this at the right place be super careful entering this you know we started getting short this at 18020 we've been trading it we have a tidy little average um, this is in the trend book. 
Let's see what happens, but we'll be reselling uh, 179 of figures today. Back to currencies, Aussie. Boom. That is a motherfucking bearish bar. Worth a dramatic pause there because that's a pretty dramatic bar, right? More powerful than this bearish engulfing here on 07. Um, we've created a new low today. These are tricky to trade, right? Because if you really want to trade this in a purely technical manner, you have to leave your stop way the fuck up here, 72.80. Uh, and if you leave a 72.80 stop, you have to sort of hunt for, you know, 800 points or 1,000 points, 10 to 1, 4 to 1 at the minimum. Um, are you going to get that? Do you have the patience to sit with that? Most of you uh, do not. So, you know, it's just more of a signal now. Core short, short trading on an average, tactically short. Um, look at the story that's going on. Take a look at Kiwi also. Uh, is this going to get down through these uh, interesting 65 and a quarter? lows is dollar cad popping the answer to both of those questions there's not yet so uh, again like the ES let's keep it in our pants a little bit but that's bearish bar um, we are short a little bit of Aussie but uh, nothing to bring the house down we've already traded it a few times uh, you know Sold 99s last night, bought 85s, sold 95s. So our average is already creeping into like, you know, 72.15. This is something to watch though. It, uh, nobody's short this shit. Everyone, everyone's, been, um, everyone's been crazy bearish Aussie. And now, at the all-time highs, nobody, not the all-time highs, but at the highs of the year, nobody's short. Just like yesterday in ES, people just folded, all the bears just folded and just gave up and, oh, fuck, Robin Hood wins, or, oh, I can't. It's not that they gave up, you just can't afford it, right? You're forced to give up. Um, if you've been short for two, three hundred handles, um, there's a point in time where you have to give up and the weird thing about markets is that point in time is usually the same for everyone so the guy who can only risk two grand gives up at the same place the guy who can risk two billion um, and yesterday seemed a little bit like or the last two days seemed a little bit like that you saw on Twitter the, the bulls giddy laughing um, this is what they call hubris in the Greek tragic literature hubris fucks you in trading overconfidence is the is the thing that fucks people the most um, so I'm cautious here I'm cautious that's a bearish bar in Aussie gold we talked about gold yesterday as weak hands um, is in weak hands here above 2000 um, those hands were broken yesterday obviously 1930 the low this is gold futures um, we're not trading gold actively right now but obviously it was a real harbinger to strong dollar gold was leading it yesterday gold was leading cable gold was leading euro um, and man, 80 bucks, all those Buffett Muppets. He's got a 10-year trade on and everyone else is putting a two-day trade on. It's astoundingly stupid. Uh, and I don't mean to be negative and I don't mean to be insulting to people, but timing and time frame is everything in this business. Anyway, they all got smashed. Uh, the big question now is, is this going to be a real smasher? 1876 will tell us.
Uh, I don't know. For this to be a real smasher, we will have to either have equities down 10%, so everyone squares everything, or bonds are going to have to go way the fuck higher. Obviously, I have bias on the bond trade, so beware of my bias there. But 1876, important. Back to currencies. Dollar Swiss, that is a throbbing Via Viagra-driven bar. My God. It's kind of classic, right? We talked about all the Swiss guys who are going to be at 90 cents. I wonder how many of them actually got filled. 90.09, the low. In, in sort of classic FX fashion, you, you get the feeling there's a lot of lonely bids down at 90 cents. This was a really surprising bar to me. Obviously, everyone saw Euro Swiss. What the hell is that? Uh, it's just Swiss being Swiss. It's like a canker sore. It's like a canker sore. Vaginal canker sore. Man. 9150. That thing looks like it's turned. That's a... That's a throbber. Euro, everyone's long. That's a pretty spooky bar. It only becomes really, really interesting below 117. So now we're back dead middle of the range. You cannot take a bet here short and leave a stop up here. But you want to watch this. Uh, and... This is all kind of world of one trade, right? So as Euro goes lower, ES is going to go lower. Gold is going to go lower. Um, Aussie is going to go lower. So dollar strength, as the guys from Chicago put on Twitter last night, dollar strength is, is um, risk off in, uh, in this current storyline that we're watching. Finally, Bitcoin. Um, we're just nibbling and trading. This probably comes off a little bit just in sort of some wacky correlation with 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 risk off uh, or with gold um, or dollar strength. But when the shit really hits the fan, this thing goes to 20 grand. So you want to keep nibbling on the long side. Is this going to get back down to 10.5, even 9.5? Sure, could do. Um, and if you can't manage that vol, uh, don't own, don't own Bitcoin. All right. I've said enough. Uh, core short Aussie looks like our number one for today. Obviously dollars are, uh, if you own it, if you own cheap ones, sit. I don't think you're going to be able to get cheap ones today. And if you do get cheap ones, say if you get given at 1717, it's probably wrong. So just watch dollars are maybe we'll get some sort of lift off point through 34. Um, and let's watch this, see if this story plays out, see if we get any extra catalysts uh, and see if the interesting market times have begun. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.